now, metalheads, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. Now, I'm not sure how many of you know or even really care, but about a year ago I started going to the gym. I had enough of being a scrawny twig boy and decided to make a difference. And within that time period, I think I look a lot better, I know I feel a lot better, and I've made a lot of really cool friends by just going to the gym and interacting with people. Overall, it's been a great experience. And of course, while I'm working out, I need something to listen to. So when it's not Howard Stern, of course, I'm listening to heavy metal music. Now, when I wanted to do a list of my favorite heavy metal songs to listen to while working out, that list could be like 200 songs long, and that would make a pretty long video. So of course, I narrowed it down to my top 10 heavy metal songs to listen to while working out. The first song we have is We Shall Destroy by Amon Amarth. Now, I could have filled this entire list with nothing but Amon Amarth songs, but that would have been pretty repetitive, so I narrowed it down to just one. Now, I absolutely love this song. If you haven't listened to it, go do so now. It really makes you want to pick up a shield and axe, stand shoulder to shoulder with your brothers, and go raiding. And of course, you can't do that unless you have the physical and mental strength, and you're not going to get that by sitting on the couch. So head to the gym, blare that song, and start pumping some iron. Now for the next song, well, technically it's two songs, but in my opinion you can lump them together. And those are For the Glory Of and More Than Meets the Eye by Testament. Now everybody knows that Testament is one of the best thrash metal bands out there. In my opinion, it shouldn't be the big four for thrash metal, it should be the big five, with Testament being the fifth one. But now let's get to the music. For the Glory Of is a instrumental, but it really leads perfectly into More Than Meets the Eye. Now More Than Meets the Eye has this amazing beat. In my opinion, it sounds like horses trampling into battle, and it really just gets you totally pumped. Also, it has this amazing guitar rift with amazing solos in it, and just the context of the song itself, it's all about overcoming things, overcoming your limitations, overcoming your fear, and if that doesn't get you pumped, I don't know what will. The next song is American Witch by Rob Zombie. Now this isn't just my favorite Rob Zombie song to listen to at the gym, it's my favorite Rob Zombie song period across all of his albums. It's better than Dragula, it's better than Living Dead Girl, and it's way better than that shitty Dead Girl Superstar song he has. This song reigns supreme. So of course, you gotta blast this one while you're at the gym. Not only does it have this amazing heavy beat that's really going to make you want to headbang, but also has a pretty cool story. Of course, it's all about the American witch, the Salem Witch Trials, which is, of course, a big part of American history, and anyone who likes spooky Rob Zombie stuff will be able to listen to the lyrics and know exactly what he's talking about. So listen to that next time you're working up a sweat. The next song is a damn good one. Diabolic Age by Ragnarok. Ragnarok is one of the best black metal bands ever, and this song kicks some serious ass. It's heavy, it's dark, it's gritty, it's angry. It's everything a black metal fan absolutely loves. And let me tell you, when you're at the gym and at the very end of that song when he's screaming, Oh, so mighty and strong, you want to pick up more weight to improve what you're doing, because this song gets your blood flowing. Let's get one more black metal song on this list with Beyond the North Waves by Immortal. Now, you guys know how much I fucking love Immortal, and this song, in my opinion, is a total masterpiece. Now, everyone knows that a lot of black metal is very, very fast and aggressive, but this song takes more of a slow pace. It's very lumbering, if that makes uh, sense to people, and regardless of what you're doing at the gym, be it bicep curls, bench press, seated rows, you can really match your movements with the lumbering pace of the song. So, in my opinion, it really goes well with it, regardless of what you're doing. And of course, as the song progresses, it picks up more, you get some really good guitar solos. Abbott's voice is just shrieking and amazing. It works perfectly, in my opinion, at the gym, no matter what you're doing. The next song is They Only Come Out at Night by Lordy. Now, I don't have much to say about this song other than it just totally rocks. As soon as you hit play, it hits you with the drums and goes right into a really cool guitar riff, and I absolutely love it. Another really cool aspect about this song is that it has Udo Dirkschneider doing guest vocals on it. So you have Mr. Lordy's low gravelly voice and Udo Dirkschneider's really more high pitch voice and it works perfectly together. Now as for the chorus of this song, it's literally just Lordy and Dirkschneider screaming, they only come out at night. It's not exactly creative, 
but it's cool and it rocks. Not to mention, this song has a bitching guitar solo in it. So if you've never listened to it, go do so now, while you're at the gym, of course. Now, of course, this would not be a metal gym playlist without, of course, Slayer. The song is Disciple. This is my favorite song off of my favorite album of theirs, God Hates Us All. And much like the last song, there isn't much more I can say about this other than it kicks total ass. It hits you right off the bat, it's so loud, it's so heavy, it's so aggressive, and that's what I love about it. Honestly, even if you don't go to the gym, you can just turn off the air conditioning, sit in your room, and try to air guitar and air drum at the same time, much like what I used to do, and trust me, by the end, you are going to be sweating bullets. Now, the next song, unfortunately, I have a bitch of a time pronouncing this. Every time I try to say it, it just feels weird in my mouth, like I'm butchering it beyond belief. Thankfully, I have the forethought knowing that I'm going to be putting the titles and the band in the video while I'm editing, so you guys can try to read it and figure it out yourself. If someone can figure it out, please let me know and tell me how you actually say it. Anyway, it's from the band Brothers of Metal, who uh, thankfully I found out about a few years ago thanks to a fan, uh, and I've fallen in love with this band. They make great music. They do the whole Viking and Norse mythology thing top-notch stuff. But to the song itself, it's pretty light-hearted, but it really gets your blood pumping. It really makes you want to better yourself in one way or another. Be it at the gym or creatively, one way or another, it makes you want to do something. And that's what I absolutely love about it. So even if you're not going to the gym, you can listen to this song and hopefully get some motivation and inspiration to do something. The next song we have is Leather Rebel by Judas Priest. Now, this song is nothing but an assault of metal. The guitars, the drums, the vocals, it hits all of your senses immediately all at once. Yes, even the sense of smell if you take enough shrooms. Now, every time I go to the gym, I have this buddy Joe there who's always telling me to take preset. He's like, it'll give you all this energy, you'll get so much more done. But like, dude, I don't need chemicals to get me pumped like that. I got Leather Rebel by Judas Priest. That song will get your dick hard, will get your blood pumping, will push you to your fucking limit for two or three hours. You don't need no chemicals in your body when you have a Leather Rebel in your system. And now for the final song on this list, we have The Lay of Autumn by Insomnium. Insomnium being one of the best mellow death bands out there, I'm sure all of you already know that. Now, the great thing about this song is it's really long, number one, so you can get a lot done within the time period of listening to it. And it also starts out really mellow, but then it just totally hits you and it kicks total ass. Now, I do have to say there is one downside of this song, and that is it's almost too good. At some point, you're going to have to stop whatever you're doing just so you can start windmilling your hair. And you're not going to be able to finish your set because you're going to be rocking out to this song for about nine minutes. So I guess the good has to come with the bad, right? So those are my top 10 songs to listen to while working out. Now, like I said before, I could have filled this video with three or 400 songs and done like a five hour video, but I need to condense it down to make it a bit more palatable for you guys. Now, obviously I'm not saying that these are the end all be all songs. Everyone has their own taste and everyone has their own playlist. These are just what I'm suggesting to you. So hopefully you guys can enjoy them while you're at the gym or doing whatever you happen to be doing. But of course, I want to get your guys' opinion on all this. What do you think of the songs I listed? And do you guys have any recommendations for me? Please give me all of the songs on your playlist. I would love to add more to my repertoire so I can listen and rock out at the gym. No album recommendation today because I just gave you guys 10 songs to listen to while you're at the gym. What more do you people want from me? So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video, checking out some of my past videos and sharing them with a few of your friends while you're at it. If you'd like to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I also have patches for sale, so if you would like to get your very own, you can click right over here. There's also a link down in the description. Overall, thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to stay brutal.